early observations of patterns. As Akshat settled into his new shelter, his days became more than just a struggle for food and warmth. With his basic needs met, he found himself watching the world with growing curiosity. The forest was alive with rhythms and patterns, and he began to realize that understanding these could be as important as any tool he might build. Each morning, he woke to the same chorus of birds. Some called only at dawn, others at dusk. He noticed that the monkeys always traveled the same route through the trees, arriving at a certain fruiting vine just as the fruit ripened. Deer visited the stream in the early morning, never at midday. Even the insects had their own schedules, some swarmed in the heat, others only after rain. Scientific note, phenology, the study of nature's cycles. Phenology is the study of how plants and animals respond to the changing seasons. By observing when certain flowers bloom or when animals migrate, people can predict weather changes and food availability. Early humans relied on these patterns for survival, just as Akshat is beginning to do. He began to mark these events in his mind, creating a mental calendar. When the purple flowers opened, he knew the butterflies would soon appear. When the frogs sang at night, rain was coming. He noticed that after a heavy storm, mushrooms would sprout in the shade, and certain birds would flock to feast on them. At night, Akshat watched the stars. They seemed brighter and more numerous than he remembered from his old life. Over several weeks, he noticed that some stars rose and set at the same points on the horizon, while others shifted slowly with the seasons. Scientific note, using the stars for navigation and timekeeping. Ancient peoples used the stars to track time and navigate. By noting where certain stars appear at sunrise or sunset, Akshat can estimate the passing of weeks and months. This helps him anticipate seasonal changes, critical for planning food storage or preparing for colder weather. He experimented with the world around him. He placed rocks in the stream and watched how the water flowed around them, learning about currents and erosion. He tracked how the sun's shadow moved across the ground each day, using a stick to mark its path. Scientific note, simple sundials and water flow. By sticking a branch upright in the ground and marking the tip of its shadow at different times, Akshat creates a basic sundial. This allows him to estimate the time of day. Observing water flow helps him understand which areas might flood, and where fish or edible plants might gather. With each new observation, Akshat felt more connected to the land. The forest was no longer just a place of danger and uncertainty, it was a living system, full of signals and clues. By learning its language, he was slowly turning survival into something more, a partnership with the world itself. He realized that knowledge was his greatest tool. Every pattern he uncovered was a step toward not just surviving, but thriving. Chapter 1 ends.